another cool one to show you. This is going out to my buddy, Brandon Lux, if you uh, know Brandon. He also builds watches, so if uh, you don't know, check him out. But he is a big fan of my Iron Man build, so had to do an Iron Man build for him and do it slightly different than the other ones. But So they're all very similar just because uh, there's only a couple colors you can use, and um, that band works really well with it. So uh, inverse it a little bit from uh, another one I've done. Uh, more recent and just kind of change it up just a little bit. So We've got a brass Iron Man dial. This has been laser etched um, If you look around you can see other characters in the Marvel Universe Captain America right there dead center at 12 um, So you got to look around a bit till you find some people that you know um, but um, We did antique brass Cerakoted case we did Iron Man in red on the side. That is tough to do. So what you have to do with that is you bead blast everything. Uh, you do your case in full red. Bake it. Then you do your full case in antique brass. Bake it. Then you set your laser to when it lasers off. It only lasers through that top layer of Cerakote, exposing the second layer, which is in red. Because you can't laser the color red on things. So, um, double terracoated treatment to do that. Uh, but we did that in red on the side there. And then um, bezel done in red with an inlay of brass. How you do that, bead blast the whole um, bezel. Cerakote the whole thing in antique. Uh, no, you do the whole thing in red. Bake it. Then you do the whole thing in brass. So now these are, everything's brass, but especially what's down inside here. Then you don't bake it. You let it dry and you wipe it down with eh, a couple of different things. Um, and uh, you remove that upper layer of uh, brass. And since the red's been baked in, the red stays. So, uh, and then you bake it after that to walk in that around here. So... Longer process to do that. Uh, red crown, and as you can see, see we just lasered through that, so you know it's uh, it's just done in black. Uh, so that's what it was. That's uh, basically what you do if you don't have an under layer under under that to expose a secondary color. You get something like that. Um, shark mesh hybrid band. Uh, we do the outside in antique uh, brass. We do the sides in red and the center in red. So also it's a lot of taping off and Cerakoting. So you can see the back side's done in brass. This side's done in brass, but this is red. This is red. So it just takes a while. Same thing on the clasp. Bead blasted, done in red, done in brass, lasered off the brass to expose the red under it. Uh, did the fold over. Uh, on the secondary keeper in red, uh, base is done in antique brass. So a little logo there for you. Um, <clears throat> Exhibition case pack, so it's a low profile. I did a gilded rotor in there, stainless steel movement holder. Um, with these, um, with this glass, you can't pop this out for me to Cerakote this. So uh, even if I could Cerakote this, this would still be silver. I mean, you could Cerakote that, but when you put your tool in there and work it around, you're just going to expose that uh, silver again whenever you're digging into it. Um, so that is the build. Um, red pointer hands, custom painted seconds hand. Uh, we painted it uh, in antique brass and then did a red painted pip. So that's not a loomed pip um, for the seconds hand. So that is the build. Thought it came out pretty awesome. As you can, see, you can tell that the BVW is in red, but it's just not as prominent as this since it's thick. But that's also in red just because of the same process. Uh, since that thing as a whole was done in red and then done in brass. So um, there's your build. Pretty kick ass, right? Um, <clears throat> as with every build, bezel will turn left and right. It's held on with the tension ring. Um, so it can go left, it can go right. It is, it is not a clickable bezel. Um, automatic mechanical, 
Uh, so you can wind it, you can wear it, you can put it in a watch winder, but if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, make sure you wind it just a little bit uh, before you put it on to make sure you maintain uh, time throughout the day. And how you do that is you back the crown off the threads until you hear it and feel it clicking. Which was right there. Did I go right past it? I may have went right past it. Hmm, I'm going to have to reset the crown. I had it in there earlier. Oh, there it is. I was like, what did I do there? Okay, so you back the crown off the threads, you'll hear it and feel it clicking. At that point, so I didn't have it wound wound all the way down. So if you go from wind setting to, um, which we'll get to that in just a second, but if you don't get it tight and all the way down to uh, disengage that clutch, you'll have to you'll have to do that before you do it. So that's why I was saying on resetting it. So I'll get to that in just a second. So when you back the threads off the crown, you get into your wind position, you'll hear it and you'll feel it clicking. So when you feel that, if you turn it away from you, you are winding it. Turning it back towards you doesn't do anything, but it's a lot easier to keep your finger spacing and just go back and forth. So if you do this for four or five seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, you'll keep time uh, throughout the day. If you do it for something closer to 20 seconds, you're gonna max out your 31 plus hour power reserve, though you cannot overwind the watch. You can wind it all day if you like. When you're comfortable with that, you're going to put it into the time setting position. So you pull it, it's one and only click. You'll also feel and see you've got a wobble crown that deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem, and putting adverse pressure on the movement. So it's basically like a ball joint, just kind of rolling with it. So if you don't like that feel, just pull it straight. Don't uh, don't push and pry on it. Don't don't make that happen. Um, so uh, your disc, you're engaging the clutch. You pull that all the way out. Now you're in that position. So that which means. You can't push it right back down here and wind. There's no clicking, there's no nothing. Because you are in the time setting position, which is back here. Okay, so you can go from winding it to setting the time, but you cannot go from setting the time back to winding it until you disengage the clutch, which is screwing it all the way down, which I hadn't done, because when I backed it off, it was just free spinning in my hand. It wasn't engaging anything. It's because I hadn't pushed it, put it all the way down. So anyway, um, set your time. Not a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going. Okay, Google, what time is it? It's 1.18 p.m. PM. Push it back over to get it out of that wind setting. And then screw it down. Like I said, make sure it's screwed down all the way. How you know you've done that is if you back this thing off. Which, oh, I did not do it. You can hear it. So, here we go. Um, position, just make sure you're screwing it all the way down and disengaging it from that wind setting. So, that's all. Um, so, that is the build as a whole. Hope you like it, man. Like I said, you can put it on a winder. Um, you can wobble around on your hand yourself, but just wind it a little bit before you put it on. Um, as with every build, it comes with matching beats. Entirely up to you whether you wear them or not. This is going to come with a special edition red Iron Man box. And then as with every build, you're going to get watch cleaner. This is good on all glass and metal parts, non-toxic, non-streaking, non-residue. Um, you're also going to get some watch uh, scratch remover. Uh, this is an acrylic glass and you can scratch it. If you do, put a tiny bit on it, buff it out, uh, go against the scratch, fill in the scratch. And use your included microfiber to completely buff that out. You should knock it out in about 20 seconds. Generate some heat with your thumb, and uh, you'll knock it out pretty quick. But uh, the rest of the watch, you can scratch it. It is a Cerakote. It's abrasion resistant, but it is not scratch resistant. And it's been put on. It's been baked in. Um, but same thing if you're, you wouldn't do it with your car, don't do it with your watch. So if you scrape it against a brick wall, you are going to put scratches in it. If you open a door with your watch, you're going to put a scratch in it. You wouldn't open a door with uh, your car. Uh, you wouldn't rub it against a brick wall. So don't do it with this. Um, it is hardened uh, pigment paint, but um, it can be scratched. So um, that's the build. Hope you love it, man. I appreciate your support. If um, you have not checked out Brandon Lux, uh, check out Lux Timepieces on Facebook. So uh, that is the build. If you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks guys.